Hi, here's how you add captions to a video on Facebook. So if you upload a video, first of all, to upload a video, you go and create post, <clears throat> photo, video. You upload your video here, you choose a video, and then you upload it to your page, and it's going to give you um, a whole bunch of options to enter a title, a description, and here you'll see subtitles and captions. So you can add captions right when you first add your video, but in this case, um, I'm going to use a video that I already have on my page. And Facebook is telling me add captions to make it easier so I can create generate here. Or if you don't see this pop up, you click the three little magic dots here. You click on edit post and then you'll see your video. Make sure you have a title, you have a call to action, you have a geolocation, you have your tags, and here in subtitles and captions is what you click. You choose a language, so we choose English in our case, and you can choose auto-generate. So click auto-generate, and you will see Facebook does its best to come up, but hi, I'm Joshua. This is not Joshua. His name is Sholto, but the, um, the computer has a hard time with that. So you want to edit the captions to make sure there's no spelling mistake and so on. The annoying thing is whenever you touch something, it starts playing the video. And it didn't used to be like that, but now it is. But you would go here and you would say, okay, I'm not Joshua. Hi, I'm... Hi, I'm Sholto. I'm Sholto Shaw. And then Shaw, I'm a... Lawyer, so you have to just lawyer at... I know this is the name of the company. Office. See, it always triggers it. Watching. So it is annoying, but this is kind of how you go raising company and then you go on and on and you go over each little part and edit all the spelling mistakes and then you create save draft and then save again and you will see the captions are going to now appear here on your video um, they're going to move down depending. If you need to edit the captions, you go back into this and then you click edit post again and you can edit your mistakes. So that's it. Make sure you add your captions because probably over 80% of the people will not listen to the sound on your video. But if you have caption, you'll grab their attention. Either they'll read the whole video or it's going to be um, um, an incentive for them to actually click the sound button. So that's it. Hope it helps.